Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays, and today on Quick Draw, we're shredding limbs with the Dual Liker. So, I've had this weapon for the last few days, and to be honest, I really had no clue what to say about it. Because when it comes down to it, I'd much rather blow something's head off at a distance than go toe to toe with it and risk getting blood in my hair. I mean, seriously, that's that's kind of foul. Now, the Iker's blueprints are available in the dojo after you've completed the clan research on the Torrid. After the Redux patch, the Iker requires one Forma, four mutagen masses, and some other less important crap to build. Also, take note that you must be at least Mastery Rank 5 for this weapon. The standout feature of this weapon is that it deals poison damage, which means that it completely ignores armor. The Dual Iker also features a base critical chance of 25%, which can be increased up to 40% with a max True Steel mod. Another mod that's been featured in a lot of Iker builds is the Berserker mod that was released in Update 10. At max rank, it increases your attack speed by 30% for 24 seconds whenever you land a critical hit. Now, whether the effect stacks or not is still being debated, but if you add this in with the max fury mod, your minimum attack rate after one crit is going to be 90%, making you a limb shredding beast. Now, on to the gay factor. Rainbows! The Gay Factor. Unfortunately, there is no true gay factor for the Dual Iker. Although they do look badass, they are completely and utterly hideous. And that pulsing red poison sac just oozes the word moist. I feel... I feel like if I touched it with my bare hands, there would be residue. And weapons really should not leave residue. Now, back to the quick draw. So for me, this was a bit of a challenge. I really found it difficult to break my trigger happy ways, but after reuniting with my Loki, I definitely found my stride. As everyone knows, both Loki and Nash have a strong affinity for melee weapons through their innate stealth abilities. Loki more so than Nash, especially when you start playing around with radial disarm. But now that we aren't forced into a charge attack to guarantee a melee crit, the red critical strikes granted via invisibility and smoke bomb fly at a much faster rate. This is definitely one of the few weapons in game that you will want to mod with a true melee crit build rather than the more traditional charge build. Now, although this is a melee weapon, and it looks kind of moist, and it comes with a really, really awkward depolarity slot, I must say that it's an interesting change from my normal gameplay. So, if you're into melee or using severed monster limbs as weapons, then the dual Iker are definitely for you. Thanks for watching another episode of Quick Draw. If you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to stay tuned for more gaming content here at A Gay Guy Plays. God damn it, Gary, I'm trying to make a video.